I'm in a huge tunnel deep beneath Austria. Soon cars are going to zip through here without realising that this space used to be solid rock. And that's all made possible by this massive 250 tonne piece of kit. You won't find this on many construction sites. It's a one-of-a-kind machine that was built especially for this project because this isn't how you'd normally dig. If you've ever driven through a tunnel and wondered how it got there and why it isn't collapsing, it's because of seriously impressive work like this. Crews here are pushing day and night to carve a path that better connects this Austrian city with a massive new suspension bridge. It's a challenging, twisting and high-stakes infrastructure scheme that's about to impact the lives of millions. Now, if you want to get around here in Linz, you could take a streetcar, walk, cycle or drive. But there aren't many ways to get across the Danube, so the city is building a brand new 305 metre suspension bridge. But to build above the water, you actually have to get there first. And there's one little problem standing in the way. These massive rocks. So the team here in Linz is tunnelling through them to connect the existing highways up to the new bridge. They're basically trying to build a simple slip road, but inside a massive cliff formed of solid rock and on both sides of the river. Now, here at the B1M, we kind of know a thing or two about how to build a tunnel. Time for another quick engineering 101. First choice for a tunnel these days is probably going to be a tunnel boring machine or TBM. You know the ones, they're massive tube-like machines that eat through rock and then seal and line the newly formed tunnel with prefabricated concrete segments all in one go. TBMs are great because they're efficient and can travel underground without anyone living above really noticing. Like under ancient woodlands or beneath the city that never sleeps. But they're pretty expensive. One of the nearly 1,000 tonne TBMs used on London's Elizabeth Line cost £10 million. So if you're splashing out for one of those bad boys, you'd better be getting some serious mileage in. And since they can be so big, and we mean really big, up to 15 metres wide and nearly 200 metres long big, they're great for tunnelling long stretches of a relatively straight path. Sounds like a no-brainer for a big infrastructure project, right? Well, yes, but here's the site in Austria. Just 1,600 metres of nothing but twists and turns through solid rock on the bank of a river. So rather than trying to manoeuvre a giant TBM through it, construction here went a little more like this. This is the alternative and, quite frankly, much more fun way to build a tunnel. Granted, it's not quite so subtle, but it gets the job done. In incredibly simple terms, you drill some holes in the rock, drop some explosives in, stand very far away, hit a button called detonate, clear out the rubble and repeat the whole thing until you have a tunnel. When we say you, we don't mean you. Please, please, employ professional engineers and construction teams. The tunnels here in Linz were built using the new Austrian tunnel method. First, the path was cleared using drill and blast, with the debris taken away by boats along the river. Then, anchors and drainage points were installed, concrete was sprayed onto the walls to create some initial stabilisation, and these giant yellow waterproof sheets were installed. But that's only half the battle. Once the tunnel's actually built, the team have to line it to create this nice, smooth finish. Now you might think it'd be cheaper and easier to just leave it as exposed craggy rock, and that would be the case, but that would be pretty dangerous and create a long-term maintenance issue. Rocks could fall into the tunnel at any point over the tunnel's lifespan. What you want is it looking nice and smooth like this. That's where this thing comes in. It's an absolutely enormous 250-tonne piece of equipment developed by Perry Formwork Systems called a Formwork Carriage and it's been custom made for this site. This is our framework. We used it to concrete the whole tunnel, the walls. We used it for over 180 different sections. Here's how it works. First, all the parts of the machine are brought in by truck and assembled. 
Then workers prepare it by shrinking it down enough to move through the tunnel. They'll remove the front bit called the stop end, close the wings, lower it down towards the ground, and roll it on through. Once it's inside the part of the tunnel that needs to be lined, the wings will expand until they're very close to the existing hard rock. Concrete is then pumped up and through into the space between the formwork and the rock. It moulds into the smooth curved shape of the formwork and gives the tunnel its nice lining. Then it's a waiting game. The concrete needs to cure overnight, so the formwork stays in place until the morning when it can be safely shrunk back down and move forward to the next part of the tunnel. Even the slightest delay in the schedule during the day means the concrete won't be cured by the following morning, which means the whole project gets thrown off. No pressure then. What's been the hardest part of this project from your perspective? So we have added not a lot of space to work with. And that's a really tight curve. The inner side of the curve is shorter than the outside of the curve. So we had to adjust the framework to concrete on one side a longer section and on the other side shorter section. Now, when it's at full length, Perry's machine can work in 12 meter stretches. But because there are such tight corners on this route, sometimes the team needs to cut the machine in half and pour even smaller 6 meter slithers of concrete to create a curve in the tunnel. Now you might not notice when you're driving through, but when you look closely, you can see the tunnel is actually formed from a number of smaller segments that are all fused together to help create that angle. What's been the best thing about working on this project? What, do you, what have you most enjoyed? Every day brings a new problem or something new to think about. When it completes, millions of people will pass through this tunnel and the immense effort that went into building it will be taken for granted. It shows once again the power of construction to shape our world and the amount of innovation that's sometimes happening right beneath our feet. This video was made possible by Perry Formwork Systems. You can learn more about them and their massive machine at the link below. There's also the chance to go even deeper into this tunnel over on the World's Best Construction Podcast, available right now wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, from the channel that takes you down Austrian tunnels, hit that subscribe button.